Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 80 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi, Excelers. Welcome back to my next video. T today, I'm going to show you how to prevent a user double clicking into your Excel pivot table and drilling down into the data behind it. We're actually going to turn off that option. So just to recap, if you didn't know, that you can double click in the values area of a pivot table and extract the underlying records that make up that data. So I have a pivot table and that's based on this data here in this small example. So if I go into the data area, I can double click or I can right click and show details. And what we're going to look at is just the north region area what Excel will do is extract the data that you've either right clicked on or double clicked and drop that into another worksheet in your Excel workbook. And we've just, this is the underlying data for just the North region. If we looked at the South, we can double click and this is extracted just the South region. So that's how a user could extract the underlying data from your pivot table. Now, you might not always want somebody to be able to double click and extract the data um, underlying your pivot table, but we can prevent that doing that. So if we select the pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze, analyze tab and go along to. So if we go to the pivot table, analyze tab and we go to the pivot table group, select options and options again. This will bring up our options dialog box. The setting we want is in the data tab and it is the enable show details. By default, it is ticked if we untick it and hit OK. If we now try to do the same again on the north region, we can double click or we can right click or right click and show details. Let's do a double click on this one. We actually get a warning to say we can't change this part of the pivot table. We can't get to that underlying data. Now, this is not ultra secure or a really effective way of preventing a, a user drilling down if the user knows exactly what they're doing. At the most, it would prevent generating extra worksheets or it might prevent a very basic user not being able to access any of the underlying data. So if we wanted to return it back to normal to, or to the default, we just then go back into our data and, and enable show details. And let's just look at the South and March. And that'll just bring us back and enable us to drill into the data. That was a really quick Excel pivot table tip. I've got a link below to a super Excel pivot table training course one of my very few recommended courses. I'll leave the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question. I'll see you next time for another Excel at Excel.com video.